Welcome everyone. Finally, a more substantial video from me here. Today I want to discuss your outfits, because a couple of weeks ago when we hit the 5000 subscriber mark, I asked you to send me a photo of one of your outfits. And I got a couple, so let's have a look at them. Okay, great. Let's start with Daniel. Daniel is 20 years old. Um, he's, he wants to achieve a mixture between vintage and modern style. Uh, he says sorry for the photo quality, but I guess it's, it's okay. Um, and this is a pairing of a very soft jacket with a Hollywood waist trousers. And he's not going for a specific era, but rather an overall modern vintage vibe. Okay. Um, there's nothing much to say about this outfit because it's great. Um, I really like I li really like the the Hollywood trousers. Uh, I like the slim belt here. Um, the Glen check check jacket is great. Uh, I like how he like um, uses some kind some some elements of sprezzatura, like putting your tie into the trousers um, using a rather uh, chaotic pocket square folding. Um, even his glasses really fit the outfit. The shoes are fine. Um, yeah, there's again, there's nothing, nothing much to say. I, I can't really see if you want to go more into this sprezzatura um, vibe. You could um, also like leave your shirt cuffs open. Uh, I can't really see the uh, the shirt collar. It's just just white here, but I guess it's fine. Um, yeah, well, it's 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 almost perfect. Uh, I would have two suggestions. You look like a more endomorphic physique guy, so it might be a good idea. It's just a suggestion and really high-level critique here. It might be a good idea to go for jackets with a, uh, a lapel that is a bit wider and uh, also neckties that are a bit wider than this. Because again, you look like an um, endomorphic guy and this might uh, fit your proportions even better than uh, the items you picked. But again, this is a, a really, really great outfit. Gabriel lives in Northern Italy, Torino. And he really loves the 1920s fashion. Uh, it's really hard to find the period correct stuff. Yeah, I agree. And this is a, uh, if I, if I see correctly, because Gary sent me several pictures and I just picked one, I guess this is the one he got at Humana, the jacket, um, a gutterage shirt, a really 1920s inspired outfit and a Stetson open road hat. Okay, uh, let's have a look. Um, the shoes are fine. Um, well, black's uh, always an option for, for dark blue suits. Uh, I really like that he picked a double-breasted suit. The, uh, the shirt is fine, really has, has a certain Peaky Blinders vibe because um, you have a, a white collar with a, with a striped shirt. Uh, the tie is fine, maybe a bit boring. But it's okay, and it's it's a safe safe choice here. Um, well, uh, but I would have two. I have, I have several suggestions here. Um, well, again, a dark dark navy double rested suit is just fine. Um, but especially when you're going for a vintage vibe, um, the uh, the waist of the jacket is pretty low at least for the 1920s uh, era. So, okay, this, this is, uh, of course, very difficult to change here, um, but at least you could, like, go to your tailor and um, ask him to give you a bit more room in the jacket because it looks that it's a bit too tight. And the trousers look, uh, definitely look a bit too tight because they are like, um, 
uh, here at the at your upper leg you can see that the see the stretch marks which is not good uh, and they are a bit too long because you know they are, they are um, showing all the, the, the foldings here I don't know how to say so um, maybe you should go to your tailor and ask him if there's maybe one two centimeters in your trousers he can let out so they don't uh, they are not that tight or maybe you want to do it yourself it's not that difficult um, and you m maybe you want to uh, like shorten your jacket sleeves a bit so you can see uh, some shirt cuff like a centimeter at least um, and finally the hat I, I really like that you are wearing a hat uh, but I would go for a darker one um, I can really see the uh, the shape probably a fedora um, I'd go for a for example dark brown one for a black one dark blue I don't know but you know something something darker for the darker suit but again this is just just my opinion I, I really appreciate the effort here you're doing great you know on a good way here so um, just just my suggestions okay Let's move on to the next one. This is Ian. The top hat is vintage from the 1920s. Very nice. The rest is new. I've tried to make it as accurate as possible to the 1930s era. Um, my goal is 1930s. Um, you will never catch me without a tie and a jacket. Nice. <clears throat> uh, I like the approach. Uh, I live in Colorado, USA. Okay, Ian lives in, in the USA. Good to know. Um, I've been into classic menswear for years now. I'm currently 19. Very nice. 19 is uh, quite early. <clears throat> I'd say I got into classic menswear. Well, well, I got into men's, classic menswear uh, when I was 19 too. But uh, I wasn't, well, at this stage, I was, well, I had to learn a, a lot more. So this is great. Okay, so let's look at, at Ian. Um, okay, so he's going for a, a white tie here. Um, well, there's nothing much to uh, there's nothing much to say about the combination because you know like it's uh, um, it's given by the uh, by the def definition of a white tie. So in my opinion, your waistcoat with a tailcoat should be shorter than the front of the tailcoat here. Um, so my suggestion would be go to your tailor um, with this white uh, waistcoat and uh, try to shorten it. Well, you will probably have to do it with uh, have to do it in um, in the shoulder area, taking fabric in so it uh, closes higher. Well, um, you're using a white shirt with uh, shirt studs. Uh, white uh, bow tie, a, um, <clears throat> a a wing collar, which is nice. Um, the trousers look okay. I'm a bit thrown off by the fit. Um, maybe, uh, but this this maybe um, is a, a problem with the the perspective of the the photo. And I don't really know if the trousers might uh, sit a little higher because the the waistcoat is like hiding where your um, uh, where your trouser trouser waist is. So my suggestion again, uh, try to get the the waistcoat shorter, and um, also like putting the the trouser waist so that it's still hidden behind the then shorter waistcoat. I hope this makes sense. Um, but apart from this, it's a, it's a great, white, white tie is a great attire, very, very elegant. I, I really like the top hat and so on. Uh, I guess you're even wearing opera, um, opera shoes, which is great. I don't know. Uh, the cane is, is cool. Um, maybe lose the pocket watch because a white tie is already a very formal and uh, um, a very formal outfit and something you will stand out with because 
when is the occasion to wear a white tie and um, so so you're already uh, sporting a boutonniere which is great but don't overdo uh, don't overdo do the the accessories so either go with a boutonniere or the pocket watch uh, chain but well both is in my opinion a bit too much but apart from this great outfit next one so this is Jake. Jake was the first one uh, who sent me a picture. Um, he really loves the vintage mafia look. Well, we can see that. Uh, he's new to this whole mob and gangster look and tries to improve it. Uh, he would love to eventually have a 100% accurate look, um, complete with all the accessories and correct collar, ties, hats. Uh, well, Nice. Um, okay, where do we start? Uh, first of all, it's um, it's it's a great approach. I really like uh, how much effort you put into it. My personal so the first first suggestion here is this seems to be a black pocket square. Um, just lose it because um, the pocket square, in terms of design, is um, used to break up this this uh, big area of uh, jacket fabric. So you should really use something contrasting to the jacket fabric. And black is not working here. And since you're wearing a, a white shirt, just use a white pocket square. This is basic, would be the, the easiest choice. Um, I would also suggest leaving the, uh, the bottom bottom of your button of your waistcoat open. Um, you can see that this is a, a modern waistcoat, which is, so if you're wearing a modern waistcoat, which is fine because I know it's very difficult to get your period correct clothing, um, you really need to leave the last button open because as you can see here, um, when reaching through your uh, trouser pockets, for example, or sitting down, um, the whole waistcoat is shoved uh, up because of um, uh, you know, because of the cut of a modern waistcoat, so really you really really need to uh, leave the last button open. For uh, really accurate waistcoats, this is not always the case. Um, then you will you also see that this is a modern jacket because the lapel is quite slim. It's okay. It's it's okay. The fabric is great for a modern uh, suit. You have to admit because. Uh, it's like, it's not pinstripes, but chalk stripes. Um, great pattern, not too many stripes. Um, it looks looks really nice, um, as far as I can see. Oh, I see here you left the, probably the manufacturer label on the jacket sleeve. Remove it, um, please, um, for your own good. Uh, then let's move on to the shirt. Well, a, a white shirt is a, um, is a it's a safe choice. Um, I would suggest um, when looking for shirts in the future, try to go for shirts with a larger collar because this is you know more accurate and it looks better. Um, the tie is is fine. I, I like the uh, like the red color. Is the the whole color combination is a safe choice uh, here. Uh, what you should try is tying the necktie with a dimple. I don't see a dimple here. Maybe it's just the photo quality. And um, maybe, that's just, this is just uh, another personal suggestion here, maybe you want to go for wider ties. This looks like a modern one and modern neckties are, well, quite slim, like six or seven centimeters probably, and eight or nine would be better. But again, this is just a, um, a personal suggestion and finally the hat. Uh, it's a great hat. It really fits the combo. Uh, great, great choice here. Um, it looks slightly too big. Um, so I have another suggestion. <clears throat> now this is cork and in um, your in the good hat shops you can get those to put them in this inside the sweatband of your hat. So you don't need to buy a new hat because 
this one is just great and these uh, these cork stripes uh, make the um, the head slightly smaller um, this is maybe or probably uh, the only thing that you need so the the head sits a bit higher and I would also suggest when you're wearing a fedora um, shoving the the back part up and the front part down and always well you already put it on um, like slightly angled which is great and well if you put them put the put it on like this with the with the top uh, with the back part um, facing upwards it looks a bit like a bit more mobster okay next one uh, this one is Nikita's Nikitas is wearing a vintage uh, Ralph Lauren sweater, boggy trousers, Clark's derbies, um, von Flörke bow tie, Hugo Boss dress shirt and socks as well as an old pocket watch I received from my grandfather. Nice detail. He tries to recreate the, the simple country style from 1920s to 1960s, Cary Grant, Paul Newman and so on. I'm 18 years old. So, um, great, great for you. It's a, it's a, it's a great age to, to start with a classic menswear. Again, uh, I, I wasn't at this stage when I turned 19 and started with classic, classic menswear. Okay, so let's uh, have a closer look. Um, first of all, I really like the, the color combo. You really pulled that off uh, quite well. Only thing, the uh, I guess the socks could be slightly darker to match uh, the sweater and the bow tie a, a bit better. I like the uh, the check the, the fabric of the trousers. The uh, the vintage sweater is great. Um, the shoes are great. Yeah. Okay, so let's uh, let's get to the points. I would um, I would change. The bow tie looks like a pre-tied one. Um, uh, in German, I always say a uh, beton propeller, like concrete bow tie, like it was poured uh, out of uh, from concrete. Um, so maybe I'm wrong, and I can't see it uh, because of the the photo. If it's a pre-tied one, try to go for uh, self-tied bow ties because uh, they always look nicer. Um, but in general, I would even suggest um, not going for bow ties because you're a really uh, tall and, and slim guy. And in my opinion, tall and slim guys are better off with neckties. But that's just my opinion. Um, I would also suggest um, going for wider trousers, to be honest. This, um, this slim cut is... It's okay, it really emphasizes that you're a tall guy. Uh, but first of all, it's quite uncomfortable, it's not vintage, and uh, your trousers will wear off more quickly. Uh, and of course, what you can also see here, the crease of the trousers here um, is more likely to show like a clean line when the trousers are at least a bit wider. So that's my suggestion. And you might also want to go for uh, more high-waisted trousers because again, you're a, a very tall guy and uh, going for like those, to be honest, like slow-waisted trousers really lengthens your uh, torso and shortens your legs. And since you are this tall, you should uh, like show it to the world by using more high-waisted trousers um, that go up a bit more so your uh, legs look a bit longer and your torso looks a bit uh, shorter. But again, overall, really good uh, color choice here um, again and uh, thanks for your submission. Cool, next one. This is Philippe, Philippe from Switzerland, uh, I remember. Uh, the photo quality isn't great but it'll do. Um, Philippe uh, is from Zürich and is wearing a suit to, um, to his job every day and is apparently a lot into vintage. Okay, so 
first of all, the, the color combo is great again. Uh, like the different shades of brown um, are a good choice here. The socks look a bit transparent. I would, uh, I don't know if it's if it's the photo quality that suggests uh, suggests transparent socks here, um, but um, I would go for different socks. And since you used a lot of solid colors, I don't see if the if the uh, the, the shirt is plain white. But I would suggest um, using something with a pattern here to like. Um, pep up the, the whole outfit. For example, Argyle socks would be nice. The Basically the safe choice with a plus fours here. Um, yeah. So the shoes are great. Uh, the, um, the plus fours are great. Apparently you're wearing them quite low because um, you know, this point here should sit a lot higher. Um, so maybe you want to, uh, maybe you're already using um, braces, suspenders with the, with the, the trousers. Uh, so just um, make sure that the trousers are sitting higher because um, this might also uh, um, lead to the point that the trousers will rip, um, rip here. Um, the, the jacket and waistcoat is nice. The, the, again, it, it fits quite well in the color combination. However, um, these uh, these pieces look a bit too wide. So, well, with the waistcoat it's quite simple. You will probably have a strap in the back which you can uh, pull tighter. The jacket here, when you're, uh, when you're into this like more cozy style, it's fine. What you definitely should do is uh, go to alterations tailor and make the jacket sleeves shorter because you really want to show at least a centimeter of shirt cuff and these are going going um, well right onto your hand and this is this is definitely too long for a jacket uh, sleeve uh, the bow tie again looks nice um, in terms of color but again I don't I'm not sure if it's uh, like a concrete bow tie so if it is definitely go for a self-tied one um, and even for vintage inspired outfits neckties seem to be underrated so really consider going for a necktie instead of a bow tie but if you're the bow tie guy um, it's fine yeah well um, even your glasses fit the outfit it's that's, which is great and uh, the I, I guess it's a baker boy baker boy cap also fits the, the color scheme so um, again the the uh, the color combination is fine and um, I made some suggestions again just uh, personal suggestions from me uh, thanks for your sub submission okay next one Richard uh, let's look at his email okay so two years ago he was inspired by the gentleman from Bernhard Rötzel which is like the standard book for classic menswear in Germany and in the world uh, the show Peaky Blinders, he found his love for Tweed, um, I bought my first dress shirt, yeah, well, that's how it goes. Um, uh, buying a lot of second hand because of budget, Instagram is a great source of inspiration, true that. Um, combining vintage pieces, in the picture I sent you I'm wearing a three-piece suit from Simon James Cathcart. Well, apparently, I do own this very uh, waistcoat, so I uh, spotted this. High waist uh, pants, peaked lapel, um, shirt is made to measure with a white, white collar. The border is from Lock & Co. Very nice. Pocket square and collar clip are no name vintage. Okay, cool. So, first of all, this is a very, very great outfit. Um, I really like SJC, so the, the suit is perfect. Um, I really like how you broke up the, uh, the solid color suit with a, a more fancy tie and uh, a striped shirt with a white collar. Um, I really like the boater. Your glasses fit very well, very, very well. Um, the, uh, the pocket watch chain is nice. Uh, I like that you're using a pocket square which looks uh, like a handkerchief. 
um, which might look odd at, at the first, but um, if it is a handkerchief, you can actually hand it to a lady if she is in need of a handkerchief. Um, the color pin is great. Um, I would personally suggest, and again, this is just my opinion, you might also want to break up the, uh, um, the colors here by using a different headband for your head, since you're doing, uh, if I read correctly, doing some sewing projects on your own. You might just go to a sewing shop and buy a Seidenripsband in this uh, width, so a silk band. Uh, in a different color, so uh, you might want to like make these uh, headbands interchangeable. Uh, usually they are fixed at certain points with a few stitches, but you can also like put them uh, put them on as you like. Um, but that's this is just a suggestion. Um, yeah, well, it's it's a really really great combination. Um, something about the the waistcoat, which uh, which I also discovered is. It produces uh, a lot of wrinkles because there's a lot of excess fabric here in this area. And what I thought about is putting a, uh, a hidden button in this, well, something, something uh, in this area, somewhere in this area. So, uh, so it's like uh, fixed. The, the the excess fabric here is more fixed and it produces uh, less wrinkles. But apart from this, it's a really really great outfit. Thanks for your submission. And now I guess we are going to the last one. Simon, Simon from Switzerland, Solotone. Uh, he's also apparently into the Peaky Blinders and 1920s style. Um, he prefers apparently uh, Swiss watches over the China gadgets, which is gadgets, which is also very nice. Uh, the suit is from Hockerty with a vintage collar from Etsy uh, and an altered shirt. Uh, Aero watch, pocket watch. Well, first of all, it's uh, the, the photo quality is great. Uh, thank you for that. Um, the first few things I um, I, see, I see is you you're going for boots, which is great for the Peaky Blinder style. But maybe you should go for uh, different boots like Burn Morals or something like that, or um, you're going for for um, uh, for like regular shoes, and you might want to use something that that is a bit darker than than these. Uh, puts you puts a little puts you a little bit off because the rest of the uh, the outfit outfit is quite dark except the shirt, of course. Um, you should definitely put your mobile phone out of your trousers before shooting. Um, this is something that my good friend uh, Matthias, uh, fine heraus, uh, in, at Instagram, maybe you've seen him uh, a couple of times, uh, and he already um, also forgets his mobile phone um, all the time in his trousers. Uh, you should definitely open the uh, the bottom button here because it's a modern cut waistcoat and these, as I said, uh, tend to shove up your uh, torso and produce a lot of wrinkles and you can prevent this by again just opening the bottom button here. Uh, the, the color uh, combination all in all is really really great. I like the dark blue suit, uh, the fabrics are great, I like the pattern of the coat, the scarf fits, uh, nice Baker Boy cap. Uh, the um, I even like your glasses. Um, I really like that you are using a an actual detachable collar. Um, the the tie is okay. It's very Peaky Blinders ish. Um, but if you want to like move on at some point away from just uh, like putting together some Peaky Blinders outfit, you might want to go for something wider. So the color of the uh, and the fabric of the, the, uh, the tie, the necktie are great. But again, it would be nice if it is a bit wider. And uh, so this is probably a modern tie, necktie, like six, six or seven centimeters uh, wide and eight to nine would be better. Uh, and you should definitely um, tie the necktie so you get a dimple, uh, which is, this uh, this supposed wrinkle here because it, give the, it gives uh, the whole tie um, more depth. 
and of course it's nice to see the uh, the gold button here but um, you should definitely like pull your tie up because this looks um, looks a bit sloppy and not the good sloppy like sprezzatura sloppy just sloppy but well it's not uh, meant pejorative it's it's a great outfit again the the color combo is is um, is perfect uh, uh, another thing the the tie bar here it's fine it's uh, a bit difficult in in Germany at least because uh, the younger generations in in Germany apparently don't like tie bars but um, especially for um, a Tommy Shelby memorial outfit like this one it's it's just fine okay cool um, really nice outfit great photo quality uh, thank you very much for your submission, uh, Simon. Okay, Simon was uh, the last one. Again, thanks all of you uh, for your submissions. I hope you you could uh, take some inspiration from my suggestions. Keep going, you're all uh, on a really, really good way. Thanks for your support. Thanks for watching my channel. Stay safe.